Having a look at the Saurus Astrolith Bear and Skink Stars here today. Oh yeah. Hi there, Chris here with another unboxing for you all. In this video, we are gonna take a look at the new Seraphon Source Astrolith Bear and the Seraphon Skink Star Seer. Both of these models will be up for pre-order as of posting of this video. A huge thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of these models as uh, they are pretty darn interesting and I have been just absolutely enthralled with these new Seraphon models that have come out as of late. We saw the previews for these a while ago and I I've been waiting to see what they look like once we get our hands on them and yeah these things are just really really fantastic looking the astrolith bear that is just too darn cool he's got the standard with the glowing orb in the center just really really awesome the skink star seer he's really cool he's like uh, he's imitating his big brother you know the slun mage priest you know they're just really really cool let's have a look at the back of the box both boxes contain one citadel miniature i'm going to assume these are probably a single frame of uh, a miniature uh it with the uh astrolith standard bear uh it does not look like he gets any options and same with the skink no the skink looks like he might have options his hands look like he got different positions or maybe there are maybe it's only one thing i don't know i guess we're gonna have a, i guess we're gonna figure it out once we open up these boxes so without further ado let's dive into these boxes and let's have a look we're gonna bust out that trusty rusty blade of destiny i'm just gonna cut into both here and we are gonna unwrap both of these this is my favorite part right here listen oh yeah i love that part that is that's my jam i don't know if you guys know what my jam is but that is my jam ripping cellophane off of boxes and then we're here go with this one here Okay, quiet. One more time. One more time. One more time. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, you ready? Ready? Oh, come on. My nails are too short. I can't get this. There we go. Listen. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, let's get it. Oh, man. I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm excited for these models. These, these two models, uh, when they were previewed, uh, a while back at Adepticon, I was like, yeah, these, these things are awesome. Again, this Astrolith bear, he is peak seraphon as far as i'm concerned it, it is just too darn cool looking i just like that it combines you know a bit of this old world fantasy element as well as this mortal realms of age of sigmar as well as a little bit of you know some sci-fi type of you know shenanigans as it were you know with the whole ancient technology and stuff so let's look have a look at the uh astrolith bearer first just because uh you know I don't know, it's closer to me where I'm standing, so dive in. We get uh, a single frame and a base. Looks like a 40 mil base. Yeah, it is a single frame. We get a li nice little instruction guide. Yeah, it's a 40 mil base, single model. Instructions pretty straightforward. I don't think there's any options for, you know, like different uh, attachments or anything. No, it looks pretty straightforward. Slap all the little bits into place. Then of course you get to look at his rules. Very cool. Take a look at the frame. Look at the size of this thing. Like in comparison to my hand, look how big that standard is. That is huge, huge. Oh man, oh man. If there was a model calling me to paint it, it might be this one. It might be this one. Yeah, we're gonna have a closer look at that as well as a sniff test in a little bit. And so next we will jump into the Skink Star Seer. Let's have a look at this little feller. This one should be a lot of fun too. It looks like we're agree. Oh, we agree with two frames and we get a 40 mil or 50 mil base, little instruction guide and two frames. The, the guide itself actually has got some thickness to it. Kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised. So 50 mil base, two frames, lots of detail. Oh, look at the chair. Oh, it looks like you can do up the chair in two different configurations. What the two configurations mean, I don't know, but yeah. Okay. So a lot of assembly in the in the chair itself. Look at you get different bits. I'm not sure what the significance is of the two different configurations for his chair. I'm sure that's probably uh, known in the battle tome. Yeah, you can do them as two different skinks. Yeah, there's two different options, different staff and different pose. Me likey, me likey. 
Yeah, look at this dude. <laughs> he looks like he's sitting on the can. <laughs> he's got his reading material in front of him. He's, uh, you know, he's in the woods. He's in the woods trying to, you know, trying to get business done. <laughs> he, I mean, there's many people on this planet who do this right here, where they're sitting on the can and they have their device in their hand and they're just staring at that device and, you know, they're checking their messages and TikToks and what have you. Anyway, <laughs> so here's to the two frames. Very interesting. I am curious to, uh, as to the significance of the two chairs. Uh, I'm sure that'll become known later on. But anyway, yeah, we'll definitely have to come in for a closer look as well as a sniff test. And in fact, let's get into that right now. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at the astrolith bearer. Here's his weapon. Looks like some of his head details. Looks like the other part to the orb. Looks like his little necklace bit. His tail, his body. Man, look at all the fun details. I really enjoy this standard. Look at this thing. This thing is huge. And it's a nice thick part as well. It's got some good thickness to it. I like that. I like the design. I like, I just, I like everything about it. It just speaks to me. Yeah, it is really, really cool. Let's see the back of this. Is that the head crest for the duder? Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at all the detail. Look at that. That is really cool. Yeah, these are really, really fun looking models. Again, these Seraphon models have just been fantastic. I really enjoyed the aesthetics as well as all the dynamic poses that they've put these models into. Yeah, they're very, very cool. All right, let's have a look at this skink. So this is the first frame. I don't know which frame is which, but we're going to look at this frame first. And so we have the alternate chair designs as well. I'm not 100% sure as to what that's all about, but... I'm sure many out there will know and once everybody has their army books and everything like that. Yeah, this is very cool. I think that's probably the underside, right? And this is the other frame uh, of the Skink Star Seer in the back of his chair. All sorts of vines and stonework. Look at the details. Yeah, look at this stuff. Like this stuff would be good for conversions within like, you know, uh, Necrons and 40k and you know all sorts of stuff you could do with these little duders. I just really like them. It is a nice blend of something that is you know supposed to look like ancient as well as high tech and mysterious and yeah all these things that we you know we really like as far as you know these mysterious this mysterious faction of you know lizard people. I don't know I don't know what else to call them other than just lizard people. I mean I've always known them as lizard men but yeah they're very very cool i really dig this yeah we got to come in for the sniff test oh this skink has me seeing stars oh man yeah i think i might be transported into another dimension all right let's get back to the rest of the video Hopefully you all enjoyed that one. Big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this box set. Big thank you to my patrons without your continued support and all you brand new ones as well. Huge, huge thank you to everybody. If you're not able to support monetarily, i.e. money, thumbing up the video, liking, following, subscribing, commenting, ringing the bell, all of that helps the channel as well. And all it takes is a couple of clicks of a button and you're helping me out a great deal. And a huge thank you to everybody who takes the time to do that. Also uh, here on YouTube, there's also memberships as well. So feel free to check that out if it makes sense to you. Take care of your brushes. They'll take care of you. And I will see you in the next unboxing or useless review. Maybe a painting tutorial. Maybe even a battle report. Maybe a live stream. Who knows? Who even knows? Well, I know. Maybe you don't know. Okay, bye.
That's the video. Bye.